Alright, so apparently it was the second sub weapon of the slime bunny that's supposed to be good. Why? Why was not a controller? Alright, I I have been told that someone was very excited to see how I handled the last two bosses, so I'm 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 a little worried. But uh, I was also told that nothing was harder than Akron earlier by a different person. Hopefully that stays true. Hey, doesn't you remember all those cats we murdered in the first world? Nope, not at all. I remember. What we did with them was horrible. Yeah, well, they look a little different now. I think they want revenge. I'll happily kill them all again if it's an encore they want. Cats never learn. Meow. Oh. Alright, Slime Bunny's main weapon is pretty good, isn't it? Ah, I can see why this would be useful for bosses. I guess it's just like a straight up DPS boost as long as the target's wide enough. Oh, not the cat noises. Uh, frames? Oh, whoa. Hold on. My recorder is using, like, my entire CPU. Hold up. Still pretty dang high. What the heck is going on with you? Ninety-seven. What the? There's no way that's right. Does OBS not use my like, GPU? Oh, well, that shouldn't even matter. <laughs> Poor Mr. Bush looks sad. Well, in-game frame rates seem to be all right. Yeah, well, like I said, like I think the first video since I restarted this, um, I'm trying some new recording stuff, and it, it makes some things easier. But I haven't, you know, there's always some little. This is a rather easy one, at least with this character on normal anyway. Um, I'm tempted to bump up the difficulty, but I won't. Not until I beat everything on normal. Um, yeah, dang it. There's the hit that I knew I would take. Um, I'm trying a new method of recording, and it, it, it absolutely should not be using the amount of CPU it currently is. I'm not sure if that's a bug in its display, or if I just have something configured wrong or what. But it's pretty crazy right now. But best I can tell, it's recording fine. I'll actually stop it after this boss fight, just to make sure. Bonus round! <laughs> Cute. I try not to talk too much technical stuff, but there's actually a lot more going on than you might realize when uh, trying to properly record a game. That's why so many recordings on YouTube look like utter butt. I try to make my recordings look slightly better than butt, or at least they look like a very good butt, in my opinion. But uh, sometimes that's done at great cost. Booty is not always cheap, my friends. Oof. Splat. Oh hey, rank three stars. But yeah, it is it is on normal. Maybe this time we'll stay in the ground if they know what's best for them. Maybe you guys could learn something from this. You shouldn't kill instant animals. Actions have consequences. Please don't lecture me on ethics. I've had enough of that for my victims and actual friends. Gee, I wonder why. So I'm going to try to teach you basic human decency. Obviously, it's everyone except you that's the problem. Dead right. All right, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna see what's going on over here. Don't make me come over there, OBS. Okay, wow. So Intel Quick Syncs um, video stuff is much better. I'm gonna tempt fate here, and I'm gonna go up to hard. Um. Something's been following us through the clouds for a while. It's been spying on us, keeping its eye on us. Your puns are lame. I am disappointed in you. Guys, stop! Aye aye, Captain. <laughs> yeah, Intel QuickSync never goes above about 12%. Or, okay, I wasn't paying. I was looking at OBS. But yeah, oh, Intel QuickSync seems to... Uh, I never really looked into it, but I was using... Um, H254, whatever that standard 
proprietary thing is. And not that uh, Intel's thing is less proprietary, but um, the Intel Quick Sync seems to be work pretty well. Obviously, it's I, I do believe this is a thing tied to you have to have an Intel Quick Sync CPU, which I do. Intel, what is it? Oh god. Uh, I'm pretty sure that the windows for that, the bombing, are actually easier on the lower difficulties too, which that's a nice touch. I like when difficulty, you know, touches on a lot of different aspects of the game. Something I really loved in the new Ratchet and Clank game, the um, the timing for like quick time events sort of things, the mini games and puzzles are even easier on the easier difficulty. And it actually makes the um, absolutely insufferable, um, oops, the absolutely insufferable mini game, um, the hoverboard mini game, into something actually fun and like possible to do. Okay, wow. Maybe this wasn't a good idea to um, to do this boss on a higher difficulty. Ah. Oh, rest in peace, bombs. Yeah, that last boss felt a little too easy. Yeah, I was using, like, my entire CPU on that standard H.254 um, thing. I'm using almost none of it on QuickSync. And I'm not, like, experienced enough to say that that's, like, a universal thing you're going to see. Like, but, um, video quality looked quite acceptable from what I saw. And I tested it, so I'm gonna be keeping with this for for right now. And my prior recording settings was something that created very fast, very ow, very high quality videos, just very large, and that was actually perfectly fine with me. Um, OBS isn't really yeah. Let's let's go back down to normal. Um, OBS isn't really set up as a recording program. It's more you know it's a streaming program. But no, I actually want to change that difficulty. Um, it certainly can record, it just doesn't have... Wait, no, that's fine. I need to go... Difficulty. Yes. Um... What was I saying? It, it, it's just not really set up for, like, super high-quality local recordings. It's more designed around, you know, faster, lower CPU usage streaming. Hi, Zapdos. This is the boss someone... This and the next one are bosses somebody wanted me to see, and that's... That's usually scary. Yeah, that... These... These extra bosses really like that, um... Run you all around the, uh, level... You know... Uh, jump rope sort of design. I'm not the biggest fan of that, and shoot him up. Damn it. Oh dang, we almost timed out on that one. Cool. You don't. In a timeout in this actually just advances the next phase. That's how you win in Pacifist. Which is actually a pretty cool idea. I think. For optimal scoring, I think you have to play as Pacifist because it gives like a crazy score bonus. And you get the. You finally now get the uh, bullet clear bonus for that. And then you just. You graze for points, which is. An interesting way to make it happen. It's not as bad as boss milking, so I'll allow it. Boss milking is a thing where, you know, you'll keep a boss on screen, possibly, like, forever, depending on- it depends on the game. But, uh, it tends to create really, really boring super plays, and I- I am not a proponent of boss milk. Oh, you can kind of stay in here, at least in this- in normal mode. I don't think this would have been possible in- in hard mode. But, I mean, this is a good example of well-designed difficulties, because, I mean, a, a normal should be pretty dang easy, or, like, the lowest difficulty should be pretty dang easy compared to the normal. There should, you should really try to cover a wide breadth of, uh, difficult, like, skill for your game. Um, I don't really think that the... Why am I... Oh! Oh, I picked the wrong weapon again. I, I'm forgetting to fire. That's probably why my damage output is so low. I, I'm thinking I have the second sub weapon. I don't. I think I closed the game to a uh, change in coding. That's that's my bad. 
I'll change it after this boss. Maybe I could have done it in hard mode if I uh, was actually dealing damage like I thought I was. Yeah, fi having to use new record new software for recording is always kind of scary, but uh, OBS kind of solves a lot of problems and keeps things... It, it allows me to simplify instead of make things more complicated, it's just there'll be an adjustment period, like there always is. I'm definitely not somebody that's afraid of new tech and stuff, but... Uh, with recording especially, there's so much that can go wrong, and you you really kind of don't want to worry about that while you're trying to make content. Or just any kind of work or anything in general. In fact, at work we just did a big evaluation of whether upgrading, not recording related, but uh, whether a new... Oh, hello stars. Um, a new technology would be worth it, and... So far, we're probably not. It's a big financial change, and you, you know how financial software is. It, it kind of sucks, but upgrading to the stuff that sucks out less, the process sucks more, so... Oh, neat! I like the rainbow colors on the enemy shots. There's so much um, potential for really cool... Um, visual patterns with uh, bullet hell bullets, so I, I'm I'm kind of a little disappointed when I see games with like monochrome, like every enemy bullet is the same color or stuff like that. Um, you can make a, a game that's really, um, you know, th where it's really easy to see where bullets are. Like that's why lots of cave games tend to do that. Like bullets will tend to be purple, and y you can make it really distinct what can and can't hurt you that way. But it does make things a little less interesting. I, I kind of prefer the style that Bullet Heaven 2 and a lot of other games do, where there's lots of different colors of projectiles, and it's really not that hard to pick out a projectile in this game. Nothing's not going to be watching this anymore. We're free from its judging glare. And we've gotten used to be watched constantly, unfortunately. Being beautiful has its downsides, I suppose. Finally, some privacy. <laughs> I can stare at Natalie again. Oh. Poor Nats. Leave Nats alone. <laughs> Leave her alone. I'm serious. All right, just one more. Oh wait, it's not. Maybe I'll take a crack at, I'm not sure what I'll do for like, after we finished all of the main game stuff videos, but I'll, I'll probably do a little bit more. What is that? It doesn't look like a boss. Oh, well, wait, that's space survival. What's, what's this then? Well, I, I, I guess we're playing space survival. Okay. Oh, and I think somebody said Dry No Legs was in fact really good. What? There's no second boss in this world? Did the dev get lazy? Probably. The developer loves cutting corners, and he says the survival levels are much easier than making bosses. Or something like that. Is that why the story sucks? Is my love life ever going to progress? I thought that the game turned out rather good. I'm happy we're still all a team and stuff. At least no one killed us off. We shouldn't complain. I hope No Legs get killed off in Epic Metal Fantasy V. Meow! Meow! Oh. Th there's another thing though, I'm sus I'm suspecting this is a jape or something, uh, or maybe, I don't know, um, but there's another question mark, so I have to see what the other question mark is. Yeah, we should see at least one, spa one survival level here. Huh? Oh, right. I'm, I'm so not used to hearing the timeout sound. Just... Well, that's bad. Oh right, you get the attack up, you get the power ups in survival, even you know, on any difficulty, even without cheats enabled. So uh, if you're the kind that doesn't want to turn on the cheats like me, you get to finally see some of those cute little mechanics. Also, I probably mentioned this earlier, but I really like that scoring with the coins is you know, course, scoring is integrated with you know, progression. Not direct, like super directly, like score doesn't directly pay for stuff, but collecting coins gives you money and it gives you score, so that's pretty nice. Uh, the, the best games, the best score focused games, uh, directly tie in the 
enjoyment of the game or like the the core functionality of the game should support the scoring system. Like um, an unusual example is um, a Soul Android Cactus, where the batteries are actually distributed by score. Oh, <laughs> I just took that directly head on. Um, if you're doing poorly. There we go. Oh, ultimate survival. That sounds scary. All right, we'll, we'll take a peek, but we'll probably lose. Let's actually, since I heard dry no legs is good in levels, I'm not sure which. It's a close range. There's strategies on which characters is best when, but uh, I don't tend to try things out too much, so I'm not super familiar with them. This is it, the very last survival level. A huge mix of enemies from every world. I guess there's nothing left to do except play for high scores and achievements now. I'm gonna go for as many prizes as I can get. This is my time to shine. Meow. But yeah, um... Oh yeah, I think he... Yeah, he, he targets. So yeah, that would make sense that he'd be good for levels but not for bosses. This is only a few bosses where being able to shoot without aiming is really all that helpful. So, you know, they're usually gargantuan and... Fairly, um, you know, stationary. But yeah, the way Assault Android Cactus works is just you get batteries and your your health, well, not your health, but your energy slowly drains. And if your energy runs out, you know, you lose the level. And I think a lot of people don't really notice the the score or the the batteries are just tied to score. So the game teaches you rather subtly that you you need to play for score because as you score and defeat enemies. Um, you get those battery drops, and so you basically have to be playing the game, you know, you're always playing for score to, like, keep you, yourself alive. It's kind of an interesting... Ah. Alright, you only start with one health and one bomb? Alright. Yeah, I forget if I actually showed any, um... Any survival levels before, I don't think so. Yeah, they, they tend to just be, you know, a pile of enemies from that world, and this one, I guess, is just enemies from every different world. Ouch. Um, it, anyway, the p general point I was trying to make is that I really like it when games, you know, they, they make, they keep scoring fun, and they sort of tie it into the general gameplay, and just instead of it having it be this weird ancillary system, kind of, that feels bolted on. Um, that's why I also like that... You know, you get these score rankings, like, your real, you know, test for score is the online leaderboards, but getting the three stars, for me, as you know, somebody that isn't, like, too much of a high score chaser, that three stars really gives me something to chase for that isn't, like, like, is three million a good score? I, I have no idea. Um, let me look at the leaderboards, like, it's probably not, but, yes, yeah, 31 million, <laughs> but... That drops off a lot, so I don't know. I don't know. See, Matt Koopo Games there only got 12 million, but is that like, you know, it's hard to know what is a decent score without you know some sort of barometer. And the high, the leaderboards, I mean, people might be cheating. People might be you know, you might be going against speedrunners. Um, you don't know exactly what really is a pretty good score versus the absolute best score. And I really like that sort of, you know, developer set. Yeah, this is pretty good. It's not the best in the world, but if you did this, you're you're pretty much you're pretty much a good chunk of the way there. All bonus waves. All right. I, I like that some of the cheats like the all bonus waves. That's a cool cheat because you know, if you're not good enough to get all the bonus waves, you can just you can see them anyway. Uh, it'll reduce your score, obviously, as you see here. But uh, it, it's nice to let people see all the content, and the score is kind of a really useful way to say like, okay, you can see all the content, but you're not really playing it quite right. But you know, without being like, oh, you, you can't see you can't see the end of the game on this difficulty. And I, I always hated that as a kid. On like, you know, lots of. NES and SNES games would do that where you play in easy mode or even normal mode the game's like ah you didn't you didn't you didn't beat the game screw you go back and do it again and that's like my least favorite quote unquote incentive ever it, it's just kind of saying screw you it's not really an incentive 
But yeah, that is Bullet Heaven. I might return here. I might do a stream. I, I'm thinking of kicking up the streams, but I have... I sort of have three weekly streams planned now, and I won't have time to stream this for a while. I, st I, have, I have some other ideas first, but um, I'm definitely going to try to play some more shoot -em ups and stuff and get less performance anxiety over that whole ordeal. But yeah, this has been Bullet Heaven 2. If you're ever looking into or already enjoy Bullet Hell games, absolutely check it out. And, like, you might have forgotten by now, but there is a free version you can play on Congregate. If you uh, just want to dip your toes in there. Yeah, great game.